Good morning. Let's make a coffee. And some breakfast to take on the road. It is so windy and rainy out. Ugh, it's disgusting and only four degrees. That was no one, really. We just sort of put up with each other. I don't like what happens next. It is nine o'clock, 9.02 actually, and we are headed home. We're done for chores for the day. I'll give you a little recap once we get home because I am starving, so I'd like to go eat breakfast. So I will see you back home probably after a shower because I stink. I wanted to explain some of the clips that you just saw and the first one was me milking the cows. That was the first group. They were just about to come in and then I moved on to feeding one of the calves and if they don't drink from the nipple then we actually have to tube them where we put a tube into their stomach because it is crucial that they drink twice a day and the appropriate amount which is about four liters because if they don't then they get really sick and weak and it's not good so we have to make sure that they're nice and hydrated because when they're newborns that's all of the nutrients that they're getting is from the bottle if not then yeah they'll get really sick and potentially die or need medication so it's just very important that we do get the milk into them and sometimes we have to supplement with electrolytes if they're not drinking the milk and continue to get like weaker and just downhill a little bit. And then I moved on to doing the outdoor calves, just making sure that they have water pellets feed out there and that they're all good. No one's sick. No one is like not looking so good. So just doing a check on those calves as well. And then the final thing before I headed out was just push up feed for the dairy cows or like the milking cows, making sure everything is pushed up so they can get it all and that there's no big piles pushed up somewhere and that it's all pretty evenly distributed down the whole aisle. I have had a busy morning. I had a shower after work and then I've just been doing some baking and cooking. For a freezer dinner, I made these stuffed peppers. You can't really see them. It is just a whole bunch of peppers halved and then I stuffed it with ground pork, rice, corn, taco seasoning, a little bit of salsa and then topped with cheese. I'm gonna take some to Dustin's and then put some in the freezer here at home. 
I also baked a bunch of banana chocolate chip muffins that are going to Dustin's and then some will stay here. To be honest, it's about 12 and I'm probably gonna take a nap because I need to go milk later this afternoon, as I have mentioned probably half a dozen times, but I am tired. And I did go for a run actually, we did more intervals, longer interval, interval running today, ranging from five to eight minutes and I am exhausted. So I'm probably gonna go take a nap because I wanna be bright eyed for chores tonight. I have made quite a bit of progress in my book as well. I am like nearly done it. Less than, like about a quarter left I would say, give or take. And I love it. I love, love this book so much. I am in love with the characters, their banter. Highly recommend Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. And I think she's Canadian actually. It is significantly later. It is 2.40 right now. And something about putting my headphones in and just, sorry, it's so echoey down here. I'm really, really sorry about that. But putting my headphones in just really gets me in the mood to work and to do things. It just like kind of blocks out and puts me in my own zone. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually about to eat lunch um, before I go milking again, but I, just need to sit down and plan a few videos that I want to do upcoming. This The one that I'm planning will be out Thursday, so look out for that. But I am exhausted. I'm also drinking another coffee. And drinking lots of water, staying nice and hydrated because that is important. Here's some more house renovations. I know I show you very sporadically. I think I might do a full vlog of just random clips. I don't know because this is like, it's taken for freaking ever. No fault of anyone. It's just like a delayed long process as any house renovation is. But we have some paint swatches. The plywood is down. The dog's bed. Um, there's a really low spot. So some self-leveling cement is there. But this is what I'm having for lunch. Some bacon flatbread, bacon and pesto flatbread. Same outfit as earlier because I am an outfit repeater. I will wear the same outfit to the barn at least a couple times, if not more. Sweaters I don't because they get a little bit shitty, literally, but like t-shirts and my leggings, two, three days if I'm lucky because I don't wear them for that long and they don't get dirty because I wear coveralls and like my sweater and stuff. So why am I gonna get more clothes dirty than I have to and then have to do more laundry? So I'm an outfit repeater, sue me. But it's 3.30 and I have to leave within the next five minutes. So I'm getting all my shit together, gonna pack up the vehicle and then head back to the barn. Oh, I can't wait to go milking. I, I do love it, I love it. But sometimes it's like, I feel like I live there. That is my second home um, because it honestly is. Sometimes I feel like I spend more time there than I do with Dustin, but that is life. That is working on a dairy barn where there's no days off. Cows don't take a vacation. So even on Easter and stuff, we still milk. So next time you're eating ice cream or drinking milk or cheese, cream cheese, cheesecake, anything, think of me. <laughs> time to head in for evening chores. It is 7.40 and it's time to head home. It's dark out, but chores went great. It was a really good night. Not a new calf was born actually, but it was born dead, so that's too bad. It's very unfortunate, but sometimes that just happens. I also got paid. So that is exciting. I still get paid in checks. I love it. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, we're going to head home. I have to get gas first because I am almost empty. Sweet, real quick. Through the lens, though, I found Aiden glowering over in my direction. His trainer a few feet away, jotting down something on the clipboard he was holding. I am home. I had a bath. I ate some supper. I had some salmon and potato wedges and some broccoli. A really simple dinner because I was not in the mood to make anything too complex. 
But now I'm going to eat some of my birthday cake and also keep reading. I am in the beginning of Butcher and Blackbird. I'm like 70 pages in, so I'm not too far, but I'm actually reading this for a video. So keep an eye out for that within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to do a full video about this book. But yeah, I had a bath. It was really nice and relaxing. My shoulders are so sore just from like milking and like putting the milkers on and dipping and stripping and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my cake, read my book, and then go to bed. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it's like working on a dairy barn and kind of what my routine is when I'm working the morning and the afternoon. This is not every day. This is what a typical day looks like for me when I do both morning and evening chores, but definitely not an everyday thing. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.